Hello, friend, more Mozine here, and today we're talking about what are good activities for a Halloween party. There are so many fun things you can do at a Halloween party. First, you can play charades via costumes. Guess who is dressed up as whom? Ghost stories are also a fun way to pass the time. But aside from these traditional games, there are fun games out there. Sherry Osborne writes on about.com. This fun candy wrapper race can be played individually or as a relay race. This is a great game for a small or large group of people of all ages. Depending on what kind of candy you use, this game is perfect for birthday parties, Halloween parties, and Christmas parties. Osborne explains, to play this game as individual players, have everyone who is playing line up on the starting line and put on a pair of mittens. When everyone has on their mittens and are set on the starting line, have a person who is not playing yell, go. At this time, everyone run to where the candy is and tries to pick up a piece. When they pick up a piece, they need to run back to where they started and then unwrap the candy and get it in their mouth. They should then take off their mittens and hold their hands over their head. The first person who gets an unwrapped candy in their mouth, takes off their mittens, and holds their hands over their head wins the race. Another game is called Zombie. One person is it, the others must sit or lay as motionless and expressionless zombies. The person who is it must do whatever they can to make the zombie smile, giggle, or wiggle in any way without touching them. When it gets a zombie to wiggle, giggle, or smile, that zombie then joins it in trying to get others to smile, giggle, or wiggle. The last zombie wins. One more game is the eyeball hunt. Osborne says fill a large pot with cooked spaghetti noodles and then buy, bury ping pong balls in the noodles. See who can find the most balls in a set amount of time. For an additional twist, you can color code the balls and have each color worth a different amount of points. After the set amount of times, count up the points earned by each player. And finally, one of my favorite games is called Ninja. Ninja involves striking a karate-like pose, and then with one turn each, try to touch the other person's limbs. The game is so much fun with a huge group of people, so play it in the backyard and keep yelling Ninja at every turn. It is possible to do a little curtsy before you begin. Put your own spin on it. And thanks so much for watching. Please comment, thumbs up or thumbs down, and subscribe, and click the link in the description. Thanks so much.